Hey, what's up? Jason here. I saw a question earlier about firing objects in the correct direction, and I figured I would just share the way that I do it in a quick video. So here I've just got a spaceship set up where I can click to fire off some projectiles. They're not pooled or anything, they're just getting spammed out, and the projectiles don't really do anything yet, but this is an example on firing. If you look, they're firing from these two little weapon points right here. You can see it's kind of lined up. Pretty, pretty good. And the way that I set that up is with a couple of child transforms. So if you look at the ship in the uh, the ship in the inspector, you see I've got two launcher scripts here, and each one has a reference to a projectile prefab, which is just this. It's just a little sphere with a rigid body, and then it has a fire point reference. And each one of these is assigned to a different child of this uh, ship. So let's take a look in the scene and see what that looks like. So in here, if I turn on the renderers, you can actually see what the object looks like. Usually when I create these, I'll do it with a box and then get it in position and then just turn everything off. So that way it's nice and easy to see exactly where this thing is. And the way the code works, it just looks at that transform right there and uses that as the launch point. So let's see the code real quick. In input, I just check to see if we're clicking or hitting fire one. And then in the launch projectile method, we just do an instantiate, pass in the prefab. Uh, the second parameter here is just the fire points position and the fire points rotation. And then we just add force in the fire points forward direction. So this way I don't have to calculate out anything when I'm doing my launches. I just go you know, wherever this transform is. That's the point where I want to spawn my projectile. That's the direction I want it to go in. The only variable I need to care about is how much force to add. And if I were going to set up another one of these, a lot of the time, once I've set up one, I'll just duplicate it. But let me just go through this process once from start. So I'll remove, uh, let me remove this extra launcher component. We've got one right here. It needs a fire point. So usually what I'll do again, I'll go and create an object, create a cube. And it's usually way too big. So I'll move it out of the way a little bit and then scale it down. And I almost always stretch out the... Uh, the z-axis just a little bit so I'll grab the blue line and just drag it forward so that way I can tell that this is the forward makes it a little bit easier and then once I get it about a decent size I'll put it into position kind of figure out where I need it to be in this case it's on a wet on a um, spaceship sometimes it's on a gun or some other character part um, got this right here this will become my fire point I'll just rename it and then I'll uncheck the renderer and the collider. Again, I usually just leave these here so I can toggle them on when I want to look at them. And then I'll go to the ship and assign the fire point. And we're done. And again, if I want to do multiple, I just create another launcher script and create another fire point. Or I could even go into the launcher script and change this fire point to support an array. Just change it to fire points like that. Make it an array. And then I'd go down into the code and just loop over each point. So it'd be like for each bar fire point in fire points. And then this way, my launcher would actually just spawn a projectile at each of my fire points. So it'd be a multiple shot launcher. And I wouldn't have to go in and add a second script. So I could just put in another fire point. Here, let's just do a couple more. So turn on the render, duplicate this thing. Drop it over here, duplicate again, and put it over here. Let's see, where does this go? Kind of line this up. And maybe another one right there. Now grab these two, duplicate them, and drop them over to the other wing. Let's see, that should be, oh, don't know what I did there. Moved a little too far. So that should be good. They're all kind of lined up. Actually, I think I want to move these. Um, these ones forward just a little bit so they're not in the mesh. Want it to spawn right outside. Then I just select them all. Again, turn off the renderer. Box colliders are already off. I can select the ship, expand out my fire points array, and then I usually lock the inspector, grab number one through six, drop them onto fire points, save, press play, and now I'll be launching six projectiles out of the exact points where I wanted them. So, Again, this is just a simple little technique for spawning things in a specific position and uh, rotation. Again, I usually use it for firing weapons or things like that. But you could use it to spawn anything in a direction that you want to use it at, you know, use it for. So hopefully this helps. Um, 
If you have questions, again, always drop a comment below. And if you like the video, don't forget to like and hit subscribe. Thanks again for watching.